The Ascension Link here today, and I'm here to talk about the law of attraction for artists. Are you an artist right now? And you feel like you have those creative blocks. You feel like nobody's checking out your work and that you're not getting the recognition that you deserve for your projects. You wanna improve, you wanna excel. And maybe you're at that stage right now where you're still trying to find your identity. Well, I'm here to tell you today that with the law of attraction, you are able to make all of those things a reality for you to find your identity, to be the best you can be. I'm an artist myself. I've been a musician for over 13 years. I have been playing various multiple instruments. I have my own studio, as you can see. And right now, what I've found is that there are a lot of videos on YouTube talking about the law of attraction, but they're only scratching the surface, like how to attract money, how to attract a relationship, that specific person, prosperity, wealth, yada, yada. But what some people are looking for is something a little bit more intrinsic, something a little bit more abstract than just material wealth. Now, the, the teachings of the secret are only scratching the surface of the law of attraction. They mention thinking the thoughts to attract certain material things into your life. But what about thinking the thoughts to attract something a little bit more intrinsic, visualizing, meditating to attract certain skills, a certain style, a certain identity. These things are a little bit more abstract. And this is why I'm making this video for artists because I know that this resonate with, resonates with you because you guys are artists and you are looking for that edge, that thing that makes you different from other artists, that skill, that passion. And it is possible with the law of attraction to manifest these things. All of those other things are just a byproduct of of the law of attraction, of your success, of the development of your skills and your talents, your style. The byproduct is the money, is the relationships with people, a certain someone maybe in the future because you're following your passion, you're doing what you love. So this is the case for many artists right now like gra graphic designers, painters, musicians, photographers, filmographers how can you guys make the law of attraction work for you now some of us certainly want wealth and some of us don't and that's totally cool but you, if you want to improve as an artist you have to do some of these things in order to make the law of attraction work for you and be able to manifest those things that you desire so three things let's touch on what are the three things that really successful artists from every generation from every time what are some qualities so the first quality would be is that they put their own heart and soul into their work now yeah that sounds very cliche but let's get a little bit more specific they put their heart and soul into their work and that is their stamp, their imprint and nobody can copy that. So if you're an artist right now and you are watching other, other artists work, you're getting your inspiration, your motivation from them. But I noticed that I end up copying some of their stuff, not blatantly, just kind of picking up on their style and it's kind of like an imitation you know you're watching monkey see monkey do and there's nothing wrong with that that's a great way to develop your style because nothing is original everything that has been done already has been done 
and it's just up to you to take them and create your own you know mixture your own synthesis your own little gumbo of musical or artistic you know um stuff you know knowledge so it's you're putting together those those pieces of work to make your own style and so that is what i mean by finding your identity putting your true and authentic self into that work because a lot of us get distracted on what we really want to say what we really want to do because we're trying to you know trying to impress impress a certain group with our work we want to we want to you know kind of coincide in a style and we want people to listen right so we kind of tend to try and sound and 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 maybe even paint or film like others would to gain the popularity but if you do your own style there's always going to be someone that's going to appreciate that more and more so put your heart and soul say what you want to say do what you want to do film what you want to film you know document what you want to do paint what you want to paint draw what you want to draw and you will find there there that, that there is always somebody looking there's always somebody that that will be interested in your work the second one is timing timing is so important for being able to manifest because you are you are taking your work and putting it in front of people at the right time in their lives the right time in their in their realities so like for example you know there are a lot of artists that have come out at a point where there is a culture growing a a counterculture or there is a a political thing happening and the music is there to to pretty much um add to it to change something to to open a conversation and not just music but all for forms of art i keep referring to music because i'm a musician but all form forms of art have influenced generations and it whether it's new it's cutting edge or if it's something nostalgic and it's you know kind of talking you know to people who who kind of reminisce about the past and you know you're seeing a lot of music coming out that sounds very retro it looks very you know it looks like from an older generation look at movies today movies today have that kind of like time piece element and it's very interesting it draws a lot of viewers in so timing is everything and so that's something to remember when when putting out your work and the timing right now may not work out for you at this moment but in the future if you keep pushing you keep going the timing will work itself out and so the third one is to release work prodigiously meaning release tons of work and and by releasing tons and tons of work without critiquing yourself or feeling insecure about it just putting it out there as much as you can adding your own touch your, with your own style at the right time you will start to see that the 10,000 hour rule will start to come into play you're putting in the hours you're putting in the work number one and two your soul your heart and the timing will just all naturally be there and you are aligning with your core frequency and your vibration and when you're doing that people can feel it people know so you will start to attract you know once you start to align with who you truly are as a person your authentic self you're not doing it for anybody else you're doing it for you say it with me i'm doing it for me i'm doing this for me so you need to remove any limiting beliefs like you're too old i mean look at look at all of these artists right now look at somebody like cascade for example he's a dj guy's like 40 years old he probably wasn't discovered until he was like 30. so it's these are you know beliefs that hold us back and and the only thing standing in your way can be you 
So everything in our lives, in our reality, is just merely a reflection of what we're putting out there. So you get what you give and you have to you have to remember that you know we can't sabotage ourselves with other people's thoughts of us or their opinions what people are going to think if we sound a certain way if we do you know make our art a certain way um so if you feel if you feel like you're not getting the recognition you may that you're looking for you might be blocking yourself and if you're putting out the work and you're promoting it you are one step closer and if you're honest with yourself be honest with yourself about the work you're putting out how hard you're working on it then you will start to see the law of attraction work for you also you need to know the difference between opinions and know the difference between feedback because one of them you have to completely ignore and the other one you have to listen to you have to listen to feedback in order to grow and improve so don't stop and if you're not and if you do stop then you're not doing it for you you're doing it for some other reason and it could be a superficial reason do it because you love it do it because it's your passion do it because it it helps you to forget about everything else and it makes you align to the core of who you really are. So that's my take on the law of attraction for artists. And if this resonates with you, if you want to start applying these things today, give me a like, make sure to comment or subscribe. Thank you very much. My name is Gabriel. This is the Ascension Link. Take care and I'll see you soon.